Hey peeps, where am I? <laughs> I am upstairs in the apartment over the garage next to my office, which is back here through this door over here. So anyways, it's funny. I had someone reach out to me and ask me about my success. And she's like, she said, she said something like, it just seems like you've always been successful and it just comes so natural and it's so easy. And I'm like, mm, okay, first of all, it's not easy. Does it come natural? Yes, I can kind of say that it comes natural as far as like me having that entrepreneurial spirit to want to be my own boss and to be successful. Yes, but... Has it been easy? No. Um, that's, that's, that's the one thing people don't understand. When they, what well, people don't, what, what they fail to understand or see is the years and years and years that it took to get to the point that you're at now. Some people just look at where you're at now and go, oh, that just happened this month or this year. They don't realize that you have been at something for years. So I'm talking when it comes to YouTube. I've been doing YouTube since, oh uh, gosh, 2011, 2012. So it's been 10, 11 years that I've actually been filming. So it's not like I just started a YouTube channel last year. But I can honestly say my YouTube channel was growing faster before COVID. And I do believe, and, and tell me if I'm wrong, but I do believe when COVID happened, a lot of people uh, were, or everybody was locked down. The whole world was locked down. But during COVID, a lot of people decided to start their own YouTube channels or social media because they were locked at home, couldn't do anything, couldn't go anywhere, couldn't be around people. So they said, you know, why not start filming myself? So I do believe it was easier to do YouTube before 2020. Now I believe YouTube is more saturated. Tell me if I'm wrong. I, I do believe that YouTube is more saturated now. So there's more to watch. I mean, there's always been a lot to watch on YouTube, but now there's even more because I think everybody uh, in 2020 picked up a camera and started filming. So, but anyways, what I'm trying to get at is success doesn't just happen overnight. Success just doesn't happen in one week or one month or one year. It happens over time. It takes time. I can remember you know, when I was doing my very first gym, it just took forever and ever and ever. Uh, I mean, the whole process of trying to get my small business administration loan, my SBA loan, took like a year jumping through every hoop. Uh, just, just I, I can just remember it just taking forever and ever and ever. And then once I opened the doors, remember I bought an existing gym there and Yes, it did have some clientele, but you know, when, when a business goes through new ownership, there's nothing that says those people have to stay a member of that gym anymore. People can be let out of their contracts because different ownership. And, and say I was somebody that had a membership to that gym and then it got changed, I could legally get out of my membership because of the new ownership clause. But anyways, when, when you're buying an existing business, they, they pretty much say that the customer base is blue sky. So you're, you're not really buying the members. You're, that members are called blue sky, uh, meaning if that business changed hands, those members don't have to go with the new owner. So anyways, it, it took, the, the great thing was, was that I was already a personal trainer in that gym. So people knew me, people had been used to seeing me for years training out of that gym. So I already had a reputation, people already knew me. So when 
people started to hear that the gym was going under new ownership and it was going to be me, people were already, I want to say, excited because they already knew who I was. They already knew my personality. They already knew what I brought to the table. So, um, but I'm just saying people just don't quite understand when you're seeing success on the internet, a lot of, a lot of people don't understand or realize the years of hard work that goes into becoming successful. All they see is now. And they're like, oh, I want that too. I want that now. They don't understand how much hard work someone actually had to go through to get to that point of where they're actually sharing it on the internet. You know, take Grant Cardone. You know, Grant Cardone has been doing his thing now for 30 years. You know, his success, he didn't become successful overnight and purchase his first jet overnight and become wealthy like he is overnight. It took years and years and years and years of work. Uh, take another person, Christian Guzman with Alpha Elite and Alpha Land. You know, he, he's been at it now 10 years, you know, at, at the age of 19 and 20 is when he decided to first start his personal training business and, and try to start doing a gym. You know, he's been at it for years and years and years. And so, you know, you, you take some of these people on the internet that are successful, you just don't realize how much effort and time has gone into their success. So anyways, I just want to touch base with that because it would just brought it to my mind when this person reached out to me and was talking to me about my success and how it just looks like it's just, just happens for me. And, and I'm like, mm, you don't understand how much hard work you just don't understand. It's a lot. I mean, I work seven days a week always have, you know, and, and just like my twin grandsons the other day were asking me, you know, how much money I make at this and how much money I make at this. And I'm like, literally I have so many different streams of income. It's not just one thing. Like some people just have one thing that they are good at and they make money at. And I have, I'm not going to say I'm really good at everything. I'm not, but I'm just saying I have different streams of income depending on what I'm looking at. Is it my podcast? Is it my YouTube channel? Is it my skincare line? Is it real estate? Is it gas and oil? You know, I mean like it, there's just so many different aspects of me, you know, that, that I can't, I couldn't just tell them, oh, it's just basically this. Uh, yeah. I have a very famous YouTuber, uh, friend, I don't want to say friend neighbor that lives around the corner from me. And that's all he does for a living. I think he's got 13 million followers. But that's all he does for a living. That that's all he does, and and kudos to him, you know. But I personally have many streams of income. So, anyways, guys, just wanted to touch base with that. You know, all I could say, all I could say to her was, you know what? You've got to find something that you are passionate about, that you're good at, and you need to focus 110 percent on it and get really good at it, and just keep working away at it because it doesn't just happen overnight. There, there's, there's just nobody that on this earth that it just happens overnight. Any, any successful person will tell you, you have to stay with it, be consistent, stay focused and just stay at it. Just pluck away. Go, 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 go. So anyways, guys, I hope you understood that. I hope you understand the message that I'm trying to get to you on that one. Um, Let's pop out and see what's going on around the ranch. You know, you're going to get very few ranch updates now because we really aren't doing a lot of ranch updates anymore. Um, you will continue to see my life and you will continue to see what we're doing around here and fun and all that kind of stuff. But as far as the remodel goes, you've pretty much seen the end of all of that. So let's get on with what's going on outside. Why are you all fancy? We had to meet Sergio. Who? Sergio. Who? <laughs> Who's that? He's big on one day. <laughs> right? Where's the workers? Him. He's uh, starting a remodel job on one of my other friends' house. So I had to go meet Sergio and them at their house so we could start going over. So I'm still going to see Sergio quite a bit, just not at my house because I'm kind of the project manager at this other house. Oh, look at you taking on all these jobs. <laughs> like what? I need, but I'm not, I don't have to be there every day, but I'm just kind of overseeing it because they want my input. 
So, anyways, we have we do have workers here today. We're putting on the metal roof. So I can't exactly see what they're doing. But Question, real quick: What flavor are you today? I'm a popsicle. Is it a popsicle? Creamsicle. Creamsicle. Something. Sweet oh. tarts. Yeah. Something. Anyway, Starburst. Um, I don't know. Can't really see much, yeah, but you'd have to probably climb up on the ladder to see the metal. Get it, mother. Yeah, no thanks. Come I'm on, in high heels. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. I'm in Can't high you heels. do everything? I'm in high heels. You're like Superwoman. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> most of the uh, metal is not in a pile anymore. I don't see the pile of metal, so it must be up there. Up there where we can't see. Right. been doing that since this morning mm -hmm. so I would assume most of the metal is up there and they've still got to do the flashing where it connects to the building but I can see the metal see? and then Monday the gutter guy comes to reattach the gutter over there and probably maybe I don't know put the gutter on right here because we don't want all the rain dumping the water in my garden right so Woo, the cucumbers are starting to spread. It's starting to travel. Everything is like growing, growing, growing. So, anyways, yes, so the metal has been put up there. So. Okay, now we're off to another appointment. Now we gotta go do nails. Nails and Ricky. toes. Ricky Roo. Ricky Roo. Ricky Roo. Where's Nikki? Where's Nikki Nene? Come on, we gotta go. I think she's all the way over there. Come on, Ricky. Come on. So. The roof is looking amazing. They're getting it done. It looks like it's almost done. I don't think they've got much left to do. Amazing. Yes. Okay. Now we just need a gutter system and we'll be done with this project. Lamar is progressing, you guys. He used to walk to the chicken coop. And now he is walking to the street and back. He is kicking some and taking names. Look at that man go. How amazing is that? Oh, so exciting. Go, Lamar, go. Go, Lamar, go. So, this just looks so, so, so much better. Oh, I'm telling you what. And the cushion is supposed to be arriving this week. So, it's going to be so exciting. Oh, we've got a tree that's kind of leaning. He needs to be straightened up. But it's going to be so exciting to get the cushion on out here and uh, be able to start sitting out here and swinging with some great music. Yes! So, we're in the closet today. And we are doing another round of Poshmark pictures. So we've got another bunch, probably, oh, I don't know, probably 15 pieces here that all have to get pictures taken. And we've got to get it uploaded to Poshmark. So we're busy doing that today. And we are working on the vault. So we've got a bunch of new information that's got to get uploaded to the vault. So yeah, you, we, you've never been in here when all of the lights are off except for just the ceiling. Look at, like there's no lights on in here except for the ceiling lights. So everything kind of looks dark. It looks kind of weird. Like, look, it's kind of dark looking. We're not liking this at all. So then we're gonna come out here and voila. Voila, the lights come on and it becomes beautiful. Yeah, yeah, so, so much prettier, yes. So anyways, we are going through the closet. We're doing a clean out. So um, some of the more expensive thing goes on the real real, and the lesser expensive things go on Poshmark. So yeah. You know, it's like I said, every three months I like to do cleanouts so that we can make room for more stuff. You know, there's no reason to go shopping if we don't have room. So the only way we have room 
is if we constantly are cleaning out, cleaning out, cleaning out. So if you haven't visited my Poshmark account, you need to get over there and find it and sign up for it because that's the only way you get notified when we are always putting up new stuff. So, yep, yep, yep. Let's get on with some more stuff going on here at the ranch. So I'm not sure whether we ever gave you the final on, remember when we were doing the areas around the bottom of the trees over here where we did the holly bushes and the roses? Well, they got done and they are starting to bloom and look so, so, so amazing. Yes, that helps that side of the yard. Plus we've got lights on everything, so that's so pretty. And then over here, remember we finished up doing the rose garden at the top of the pond. So we ended up lighting up the fountain, which you guys have seen now at night. But look how incredibly pretty this turned out. The rose bushes are starting to grow and of course they're all starting to bloom so this is going to look so 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 amazing like look at that rose bushes are growing yes they're all growing and getting bigger it's looking much better so anyways, that really does make the top of the pond look really good. And we got the lights put in. You can clearly see the lights. The lights are in, so that helps light up the area at night. So it's really pretty. So it, it turned out really, really, really good. So now all the ryegrass has been burning out and all the Bermuda grass is coming in. So. Everything's looking good. on, take my body in glitter. Pop, pop, form, sneakers, all the boys want a picture. Toot, toot, for a cause, I make rich look richer. Save your breath, baby, I'm not going home with y'all. So guys, just jumping on here to talk to you a little bit more about success and being successful at things in life. Um, you know, a lot of people just think that you jump out there and you try something for the first time and you're supposed to be successful. And a lot of times that's not how it works. A lot of times it takes a lot of failures before you actually find something that you can be successful at. But failure doesn't mean that you should just quit and never try again. Failure means, okay, this didn't work, so how, uh, how about we try it again, but we try it a different way. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've set out to do things and I wasn't successful at it. Um, but you know, a lot of times people don't show their failures. That's the other thing. You know, you only see people's successes. You don't see all the failures. Most people don't publicize their failures. They only publicize their successes. And so you don't realize when you're seeing someone that's successful, you don't realize how many times they attempted to make that happen and they failed at it only to try again. And maybe they failed again, but they try again. And so, that's what I'm saying, so I, you know, with social media now, you know, back in the day when I was a successful gym owner, there was no social media. <laughs> I mean, AOL was just barely coming around. So it was like that, that you know, hello. So if, if I f f failed at something, nobody even knew about it unless I personally told them. Um, but even today with social media where it's at, you don't... I mean, like, try to try to tell me or show me 
one person on social media that puts out their all their fail all their failures you don't see it all you see is success you see somebody flying on their private jet oh look at me i made it big woo, woo. do this and do this and do this and you too can be successful and you can fly on your own private jet and look at me with my lamborghinis and my rolls royces and my whatever i mean like you know look at me in my multi-million dollar house i mean like all you really see on social media is people's success they go on social media and they gloat and they show off their success hardly anyone ever that i know of and tell me if i'm wrong and put the put the post below the link below whatever you want put it below and show me somebody that's bragging about their failures you're not seeing it and that's why that's why so many people think that failing is wrong or failing is bad because they don't see it they don't see people talk about it they don't see people doing it they don't see failure all they see on social media sorry i'm going to turn around all they see on social media is success 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 and so they feel really bad when they go to talk to someone about their failures because they're like, oh, I'm such a failure. Oh, well, no, you're not. You're not a failure. And you, you just don't know how many times, I mean, even Grant Cardone will talk, talk to you, uh, and he talks about it, how many times he failed at certain things, um, you know, how many times he was fired from jobs before he finally got it right. And so don't feel bad when you try something and you're not successful at it try something else try something else that you're passionate about and if you're not passionate about it and and you and you're not having a good time then snip it get on to something different or if you're passionate about it but you're not making any money then snip it and go find something else that that you want to do i mean like people life is so incredibly short that it's not worth constantly being unhappy and, and like I said, happiness comes from within. You have to make yourself happy. You have to be the one responsible for your own happiness. And yes, sometimes failure is involved and it doesn't make us happy to be failing at something, but knowing that on the fourth or fifth or sixth attempt, you finally get it right and you become successful, then it was worth it. It was worth all that hard work. It, it was worth all the tears. It was worth all the, gosh darn it, I wanna give up kind of thing. So I, I just hope you guys are getting my message today that, that, you know, I understand sometimes it's sad and it's scary when you have to feel like you're failing at things but just remember that, that most people don't publicize their failures. And that's why on social media, you don't see people failing because they're ashamed or they, they just don't want you to know that they failed at something, but it's okay. It's okay to fail at something. And failure is part of the process. I always try to tell you that failure at least means that you're attempting or that you're trying. And I would rather try at something and fail and try again and even if i failed again at least i'm trying at least i'm trying and there's a lot of people out there that are so scared of failure that they're not even going to attempt to try because they're like oh i'm probably not going to be good at it and i don't want to be a failure so i'm just not going to do it well shame on you shame on you you know what too bad you didn't have the guts to to, to, to try because that's part of the fun is to try. You never know sometimes what you're good at if you don't try. Seriously. I never knew I would be good at filming and recording my life if I wouldn't have ever tried it. And when I tried it, I thought, well, this is kind of stupid. I mean, like, really? Good Lord. And you know what? I like it. I like it. I like it. So anyways, guys, I hope you got the message today. I hope you are having a fantastic day and just know that failure is acceptable. 
failure is part of the process and it's okay. So anyways, I just wanted to get on here and, and wish y'all a happy Monday. Uh, just get out there, live your best life and definitely get over there and check out our link that's in the description box for the vault. The vault is all about inspiration, motivation, and showing you the way, showing you how to do it, how to make the most out of your life. And yeah, a lot going through my mind today. You ever have one of those days where you just got a lot going on and you can't even explain everything because some of it doesn't even make sense, but you know, it's gonna work its way out in the wash anyways so anyways guys love you to pieces and uh hang in there you know we're all we're all just doing the best we can do until next time bye bye <laughs>